Pakistan and Turkey reportedly discussed the possibility of jointly designing and producing a helicopter. The reports originated from multiple Turkish news outlets, which claimed that the proposal was discussed during the 8th PAKTURK Industrial Fair Joint Working Group meeting at Pakistan's National Aerospace Science and Technology Park. Additionally, Turkish media outlets reported that the potential sale of the Khan to Pakistan, which is Turkey's next-generation fighter aircraft, was also discussed. Regarding the helicopter, it is currently not known if it would be a civil or military platform. But in 2018, Pakistan had ordered 30 T-129 attack attack helicopters from Thai. However, the deal fell through due to the United States' reluctance to approve re-export licenses for the attack LH Tech T-800 turboshaft engines. In 2020, it was widely believed that the Pakistan Army Aviation Corps PAA, would acquire the Chinese Z-10ME in lieu of both the T-129 and the Beltextran AH-1Z. The latter deal fell through because Washington refused to release the foreign military support FMS money which Pakistan intended to use to finance the deal. In 2021, the head of Turkey's presidency of the defense industry, Dr. Ismail Demir, stated that Pakistan gave a six-month extension, adding to a previous year-long agreement, for Thai to sort out an alternative arrangement. One significant factor developed since the collapse of the T-129 deal, the new emergence of Turkey's indigenous turboshaft engine, the Tusas Engine Industries TS-1400. Turkey initiated the development of the TS-1400 in 2017 with the aim of reducing its reliance on foreign turboshaft engines, particularly from the U.S. Tusas Engine Industries estimated that the development of the TS-1400 would take about eight years. In 2020, Tusas Engine Industries tested the TS-1400's core. In 2023, the TS-1400 was successfully test-flown from a Thai T-625 Gokbei utility helicopter, which was indigenously developed by Thai. Since then, the TS-1400 has undergone certification tests, with its latest one successfully occurring in June 2024 for the European Union Aviation Safety Agency CNC 740 endurance test requirements. Through 15 consecutive 6-hour endurance tests, meeting the CSE 740 requirement, the TS-1400 achieved a power rating of 1740 shp. International certification of the TS-1400 is expected to be completed by 2026, aligning with the eight-year roadmap TUSA's engine industry set for developing the engine. It is possible that both sides are discussing a potential joint next-generation military combat helicopter program centered on TUSA's engine industries or TTS-1400, which could amount to one of several potential outcomes.